guys, how is your days? Today I want to show the application of our power supply. We can use this DPS3005 as an example. DPS3005. Uh, it can provide up to 32 volt DC voltage and 5 ampere current. You can use it to power on loads like LED lights, fans, or something else. Recently, some customers asked me if our power supply can charge their lithium battery. Of course, our DPS DPH power supply can charge battery directly, and you don't need to add a doubt. There are two notes you need to know. Our power supply can charge battery, but they are not designed to charge battery professionally. And uh, never reverse the input of the battery, or you can see the bad consequence at the end of this video. At present, our power supply can charge lithium battery, lead storage battery, NIMH battery, and so on. As long as uh, it take, as long as they are rechargeable batteries, and uh, you can set the right voltage and uh, current. The charging mode generally adopts constant voltage and constant current mode. But it doesn't mean you can use constant voltage and constant current from the beginning to the end. It is a limiting voltage constant current to limiting current constant voltage progress. If you if you see this icon, you can see it is CV mode, and uh, if you charge a battery from empty to full, it will start from CC mode to CV mode. And now I can show you how to charge a battery. First, we use a lithium battery as an example. You can see the technical parameters here. It is 3.2 thousand milliampere hour. This is its capacity and uh, its nominal voltage, 3.7 volt. And the capacity of this battery is 1.2 thousand milliampere hour, and it is a lithium battery too. So the nominal voltage is 3.7 volt. Now I want to tell you how to set the voltage and the current. You can see the capacity is 3.2 thousand milliampere hour, so we can write uh, 3.2 thousand. And uh, remember this number as C. We use half C to charge this battery, which means we use 1.6 thousand milliampere to charge this battery. And this, we use half C to charge this leasing battery. So the current is 0 0.6 ampere.
and the voltage we set is 4.2 volt. 3.7 volt is a nominal voltage and 4.2 volt is a peak voltage. Okay, we can use 4.2 volt, 0.6 ampere to charge this battery. And I can see when the voltage of the battery reaches about uh, 4.2 volt the constant current charging is changed to constant voltage charging mode and the current is gradually reduced according to the saturation degree of the cell as the charging progress continues when the current reaches to 1% c which means 12 milliampere the charging progress is considered to be terminated and you need to disconnect the battery after it is full charged. Never allow the battery to stay at 4.2 volt for more than a few hours. In addition, the natural standard tells us the charging times does not exceed 8 hours, which means even if the current has not reached 1% C and uh, 8 hours arrived, the charging progress considered to be over. If the battery has no problem in quality, it should reach 1% C in 8 hours. The battery with poor quality, it will be meaningless after 8 hours. Under normal circumstances, the lithium charging rate of half C is safe. So, when the charging current is 0.6 ampere, it can be safely charged without reducing the performance of the battery and shortening the service life. By the way, the charging voltage and current of other batteries are attached here. For specific charging details, please refer to the manual for purchasing the product. And you can see the actual parameters above. Half C is safe without knowing the specific parameters of the product. And this is only for reference only. Okay, now we need to charge this battery. Like what I said before, we need to set 0.6 ampere, which means half C. And the voltage should be 4.2 volt. Okay, we have set the right voltage and the right current. Remember, never reverse the import of the battery. Black means negative. and uh, red means positive okay. 
you can see there is already voltage here because the uh, cable has voltage drop. Turn on the switch and you can see it is CC mode. The current is constant and the voltage will increase to 4.2 volt. You can see the voltage is gradually increased. Now you can see the voltage is constant and the current is reducing. When it reduced to 12 mA, the charging progress can be considered to terminate. And it still need a long time, so I didn't dis dis display the progress here. Through the videos before, we can see the whole charging progress. The battery charging starts with a constant current CC and end with a constant voltage CV. It proves that our power supply can charge a lithium battery. Like what I said before, we can also use our power supply to charge other batteries. And uh, this is a lead storage battery. The so nominal voltage is 12 volt and uh, the capacity is 69 ampere hour. It's quite a large capacity. And uh, if we want to charge this battery and uh, we can calculate it, the voltage we set is 14.4 volt and uh, this we if we set 1% C the current is 6.9 ampere but this is a DPS 305 and uh, the highest current is 5 ampere so we had to set 5 ampere if you want higher current you can use DPS 5015 50, or DPS 5020. Okay, we need to set the voltage at 14.4 volt. and uh, 5 mp max I say that again never reverse the import of the battery and uh, you can see the better consequence later. Red, positive.
and the black negative. It scares me. You can see there is already voltage here. And uh, this is because the cable they have voltage drop and uh, we turn on the power. You can see at first it is CC mode and the current is 5 ampere. We can see the CC mode is changed to CV mode and the voltage is constant. The current is reducing. Later, I will show you the consequence if you reverse the import of the battery. Don't reverse the import of the battery, and you can see the result. <laughs> 